Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 41 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get to Work. I'm starting things off right at the beginning of Kim's shift. So let's see, we have Mix Slimify Serum, Upgrade Simray with Mind Control Sit, and also to mix a Tainted Serum. I guess I'll just have her mix the Slimify Serum first. Hmm. That's interesting, I wonder what that's about. Huh, uh, maybe we'll find that out later on, but let's go ahead and... Oh, never mind, okay, so we have to get a carrot. Uh, let's see, drink the serum to make your sim slimmer. Huh, I wonder if it just makes them automatically lose weight, or if it, like, makes it easier to lose weight or something like that. Anyway, do we happen to have any carrots here? Because that's sort of what we need to be able to do this. Okay, darn, looks like there's no carrots around here. Well, do we have any... I think there are some plants around... This whole lot. I think maybe, maybe there's some carrots. If not, then I'll just have to do something else. Uh, cause I think that could be a interesting serum to make. Yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna have any luck with finding any carrot plants around here, unfortunately. Oh, what's this? What is that? Oh, that might be some sort of alien thing. You know what, let's have her go get that just to see what it is. Cause I'm kind of curious. Yeah, we're... We're not going to be able to find any care plants. Ugh, okay, so I guess that means that's not something we can do. There might have been a care plant there before, but then it died, so... They got rid of it. Wait, actually, we have something over here. Ah, oh, no, that's not a carrot. That's kind of cool. That's like the gate to get in here. Hmm. I never really looked over here. Wow. I didn't realize. I didn't realize this whole thing went this far over. Oh, that's that's it. Like that's as far as we can go. All right. Huh. Oh, still pretty cool. I never bothered to pan the camera over this way. Okay. Yeah. I should. Whoa. <laughs> what is this? Is this just a random fitness class? Hey. I guess, I don't know, it just looks like, like the bad guy's the instructor telling them all to do push-ups. <laughs> that is so random. I was... Okay, then. Um, I was not expecting to find that. Okay, we're kind of wasting her workday a bit here. Found... What? She found an alien. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm just going to give up on finding the carrots, but... What? Wait, no, no, inventory. Oh, uh, okay, okay, that's what it is. It's a space squid. Anyway, now that we've wasted the first two hours of our shift doing nonsense, uh, let's get on doing something productive. So how about we upgrade the sim ray with my control sit? Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't break this time. And I think the invention constructor is actually her closest friend, apart from her family members, which I don't think is a good thing. I don't think it's a good thing that her closest friend is a robot. Yeah, she's... Oh, she's friends with Thomas! And Kristen, that's cool. She's actually better friends with Kristen than Maya is. Yeah, she's got... <laughs> yeah, like, apart from her family, she's closer to the inventory constructor than any actual sim. Um, yeah, we should probably work on getting her some closer friends. Alright, so now she can mind control sims to sit. But, okay, <laughs> it wants us to mind control them to clean, though. Alright, whatever, we'll just do what it says. Alright, so we got that in our inventory. Where is a sim we can make clean? Yeah, let's just do that with her. There you go, clean. Alright, she's on doing that now. Alright, cool. So <laughs> I love that evil scientist laughter that she just did. Okay, let's see. Order, order co-worker to analyze metals. Yeah, let's uh, let's order this guy to do that. Yep, uh, can we? We might have to introduce ourselves first. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, actually, what did that say is... Lab technician, okay. Yeah, I think he's beneath us. We should be able to order him around. Okay, now let's see if we can... Yep, order to analyze metals. There we go, we'll boss you around. So I guess she's she's starting to get pretty high up in here. Uh, okay, mind control three coworkers to change outfits. You know, let's have her mix a tainted serum first. We'll just do a tainted red hot serum. 
But I did make, like, since the last time I was with these two, I did make some progress in their jobs. So I got her promotion. I believe she was on level 5 when we left off. I didn't actually get Lee a promotion, but I did get his performance up a little bit. So hopefully we'll be able to get one easier, although he doesn't work today, so we're not able to get his performance up at all by telling him to work hard. Uh, but yeah, she needs to get a couple more breakthroughs to be able to get another promotion. Also, she needs to get this up some. Hopefully we'll have a good work day and we can improve this a lot. Um, uh, let's see. Mwahahaha. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that adventure is so deliciously entertaining. So I guess she's having some- Ooh! Yay, another breakthrough! So I guess she has some fun messing with people. Definitely has fun messing with people. Alright, so it looks like something happened to her synthesis. Alright, so it's tainted. Ooh, she wants to converse about aliens. Alright, well, you know what? Let's have her mind control him to change his outfits. Let's go with, uh, let's go swimwear again. Looks like she's not even done cleaning this place yet. And then, who is this? Simon Harwood. Ooh, let's mind control him to change his outfit to swimwear. I want to get a better look at this guy. Ooh. Ooh, he's not... He's not bad looking, although... If she ends up with anyone, I want her to end up with Elf. But definitely not a bad looking guy. Maybe I could have her introduce him to Lee, perhaps. Although I know um, some of you did want to see Lee end up with one of his co-workers. Is that a swimwear? I said swimmer, right? That's That looks like... That doesn't look like something you would swim in. Let's change her into her swimwear. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see if she actually has some um, legit swimwear, because it seems like a lot of them don't. Oh, oh, let's have you go do that really quick. Oh, oh did she even change in? No, she didn't even change into her swimwear. Hmm. Okay, well, we can have her, after she's done with that, converse about aliens with Simon. Uh, looks like she has to introduce herself first. Let's give a cheerful introduction. And then once oh, she's done with that, she can talk about aliens. And then we also have work on Rocket for 10 minutes, so that's something else we should hopefully have time to do before the end of the day. Okay, how do we converse about aliens? I'm guessing that is somewhere... Oh, right, it's theorize about aliens, not... A co the inter interaction isn't exactly converse about aliens. Okay, cool. So once she's done with that, we'll have her get back out here and work on this rocket. And let's see what else we get here now that that's done. Ooh, flirt with someone after drinking a rose perfume serum. Oh, I wish... I wish Elf actually showed up to work because I would love to have her flirt with him. I mean, they're co-workers, but they don't actually see each other at work ever. Uh, well, I guess we could pretend they see each other when we're not actually following her in, but I do want to actually have her hang out with him some, just to get a little bit closer since they are quite friends. Okay, stop. Stop talking to him. I think she might have had a rose perfume. What is this? Oh, that's the red hot serum. Okay, now, so if we want to do that, we'd actually have to make another rose perfume, which I'm pretty sure we don't have time for. But we might have time for whatever pops up after this. Hopefully she finishes up with this soon. Ah, there we go. Alright, stop doing that. My control sim to clean. Alright, we can we can do this. We got someone right here. There we go. There we go. We'll just have you clean. Augustine. I don't care if you have to pee or not. Okay, so I think... Ooh, if she can do this before the day ends, she'll have... Uh, I'm pretty sure this will give her full full performance bar. Oh, okay. We need to make sure to have her take a shower. Nice! <laughs> I love how she does that evil laughter every time she does something with that. Okay, let's see. Analyze a crystal. We probably won't have time to do that, but we can at least... We can at least try. Yeah. Oh, oh I just realized. So if she has at least one carrot in here, we could clone it. Because I think we needed two carrots for the Slimify Serum. Oh, never mind, she doesn't even have one carrot in here. Well, I'll have to keep an eye out for some carrots. Oh, okay. Kim did a fantastic job today. It won't be long before academic prestige and scientific achievements arrive. 
And she also made 1,194 simoleons, which I think is actually more than her father makes, because he makes a little over 1,100. So yeah, now she's starting to make more money than her father. I'm not sure if Lee is or not. He might not quite be there yet. But what I wanted to do with this evening is have her go over to Elf's house for a little bit to hang out with him and get to know him better, because I want to see if I can work towards getting something going between the two of them. And we are back home now. Alright, uh, we do need to get her mood up first, because she's not really in the... Yeah, we need to have her take a shower and also eat, so she's not super grouchy. Okay, we don't have anything in there, so we'll just have her grab some cereal. I did also make some progress on their aspirations. So she's on to the last milestone. I got her to level 9 of the logic skill. So she just has to fix or upgrade another object and get to the last skill level and then she's done with that. And then as far as he goes... Uh, what? Why is that switching over to him? There we go. Um, he's on level 8. I think he was on level 7 before, so I did make a little bit of progress there. And then he's still at his maximum body potential, of course, because he's... He looks like the freaking Hulk right now. Like, he, he is very, very muscular. It's, I was a little scary how muscular he is. Alright, she's taking a while with that shower. Okay, you know, well, you know, let's have you go jogging so you can get your athletic skill up some. Hopefully she doesn't take too long to eat because I do want to have quite a bit of time to spend over at Elf's house. So yeah, she uh, finds him a pretty interesting guy and just wants to spend a bit of time with him. Actually, how's her... Mm, she doesn't have a ton of energy, but... We should at least be able to have her hang out there for a few hours. Wait, where's where is he? Up oh, there he is. Wait, was that Kevin? I think I just saw Kevin walk by. Oh, actually, where is his skill? Oh, he's a good bit of the way towards the level. What are you doing? No, don't sleep. Yeah, okay. Uh, you get up and go over to Elf's house. Actually, mm, it is getting to be almost 10 and she's sort of tired, so it might not go, like, if I have her go over there tonight, she might only be there for like a couple hours and then she'll just start complaining that she's really tired. So what I think I'm going to actually do is just let her sleep and then have her go over to his house the next day after she gets off work when she's a bit fresher, can spend more time there, not be so tired. So I'll be sure to let her get a bunch of sleep tonight so she won't be really tired when she gets off work. But actually, how's his energy? Uh, he's starting to get sort of, he's starting to get sort of tired too and he does work at 6 in the morning tomorrow. So even though it's only like 10 o'clock, I'm just going to have these two go to bed. And I'll be back the next day when she's getting home from work. Kim just got home from work, so I wanted to have her go over to Elf's house pretty soon. First, let's check on her mood. Alright, looks pretty good. We can take care of her hunger and her fun once she's over there, but let's have her go to the bathroom first. Uh, I guess I should also have her change out, change into some everyday wear clothes too. Uh, but yeah, she's just going to go over to his house to hang out with him since they've been talking a little bit more lately. Alright, now that you're done with that, let's go ahead and change you to... Let's go with Everyday Wear 2. That was the one with the long jacket that I thought looked really cool on her. Yeah, that one. That's definitely my favorite new outfit that I gave her. But now that we are done with that, let's visit... Like, I don't know why that's saying the spa, but yeah, we're going to go head over to Elf's house. Now that we're here, let's go knock on the door and see if he's home. Hopefully he is. That would kind of suck if... Oh! Wait. Yeah, there he is. Alright, he's home, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, cool. He wants us to come on in. So let's just go over here and... Um, I don't know if we want to vent to him. Let's... Let's enthuse about a new show. That always sounds like fun. And then we could also have her tell some jokes to try to get her fun up some. But yeah, he does have a really... Cool house. I think I said that before though when um, like back in the first part where we met him. Anyway, let's have her tell some jokes to try to get her fun up some. We could also have them watch TV together. I think there's, I'm pretty sure there's a TV somewhere in this house. I think it's actually, yeah, it's actually in this room right here. So we could have them watch that together, hang out. Ooh, let's have her theorize about aliens with him. She does love talking about aliens, and little does she know that Elf here is an alien. Uh, she's always thought there was something a little bit different about him that she couldn't quite put her finger on. 
<laughs> but she always thought it was different in a good way. Uh, oh, yeah, let's compliment his house. He's got a pretty sweet bachelor pad going here. Uh, so tell another joke about Sunset Valley. And then let's go have the two of them channel surf together. But yeah, these two definitely have a lot in common. They're both scientists, they both have an interest in space and all of that. And uh, she really enjoys talking to him. Oh, we could have her ask for a DNA sample. I think, yeah, they're friends now, so we'll actually let her get that. Oh, let's see. Let's see what happens if we ask for a DNA sample. Oh, oh. Oh, man. Even though they're friends, he's... Okay, we gotta fix that. Man, even though they're friends, he still won't let her take a DNA sample. I guess that's because he's an alien and doesn't want her to know because he's afraid of how she'll react if she finds that out. So he's just refusing to let her have a DNA sample because he knows if she takes one, she'll find out for sure that he's an alien. But it does look like their conversations are helping the fun some. I don't know. Oh, okay, they're stargazing. That's what they're doing. I was wondering what they're going all the way outside for. Yeah, it definitely seems like something they both be into. And uh, part of the reason why she wanted to hang out with him tonight is that as she's gotten to know Elf better, she's found herself becoming more attracted to him and wants to get a feel as to whether or not he's interested in her as well. Even though the whole thing with Don Lothario hurt her a bit, it didn't completely scar her and make her never want a relationship ever. Um, it was a bit of a learning experience for her. She learned signs that, you know, signs to look out for as far as knowing when a guy may be playing you. And it really seems like Elf isn't that kind of personal and that he's just a really sweet and honest guy. So, uh, yeah, she wants to perhaps try to make a bit of a move tonight to see if he may feel the same way about her. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, good, they're friends again. It's still a bit of an awkward encounter, though, after that whole, um, trying to get a DNA sample, but I think we can get that past that little incident, but, uh, let's... Let's get these two to stop stargazing and do something else. At least that is helping her fun some. Uh, she's, she's a little hungry. I know... I don't think they really care if you go grabbing food out of the fridge, though. Yeah, I think he won't care if we go get some food out of the fridge, so let's just get... Uh, let's just eat some... Yogurt. There we go. I was about to go for cereal, but no. No, I always do cereal. Hopefully he'll follow us over. Uh, ooh, she's a... Oh, she wants to confess his attraction. Or confess her attraction to him. I don't know if I'm right on this, but I like to think that what pops up here is what your sim is thinking about doing, like the interactions they're really wanting to do. I may be wrong on that, but I just like to imagine that because it makes it a little bit more fun for me um, to think, ooh, this is what the sim's thinking about doing. So yeah, she's just kind of thinking about telling him how she feels. Uh, I think we, we already complimented his house, so we don't want to do that again. We enthuse about new shows. Uh, let's complain about... Local use, why not? Just complain about those pesky, pesky kids that are nearby. <laughs> Alright, so she's doing that. We can also have her reveal a brilliant invention. Oh good, he doesn't seem to care at all that we grabbed a bowl of yogurt out of his fridge. Okay, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna try that again. Uh, let's ask him about his day. And I guess in a little bit we could have them go upstairs and watch some TV together. Where are you going? Don't tell me you're going off to bed yet or anything like that. So we, uh, well, it's after midnight, so it's not really too early for that. Uh, okay, what is he doing? Please don't tell me he's- No, he's going to bed, he's going to bed. Uh, stop eating your yogurt and... Go talk to him. Yeah, discuss interests. There we go, no! Uh, Alright, I think we can just tell him to wake up. Anyway, yeah, we could do that, we'll just tell him. Oh, he has glasses with his sleepwear, that's so cute. Alright, cool, we got him out of bed. Yeah, she's full enough. She didn't really need to eat all that yogurt. Okay, what are you doing? There we go. She's revealing, showing him a brilliant invention. Okay, well, let's... Whoa. <laughs> Why is the TV paused on this? Uh, okay, I guess watch current channel together. Oh, uh, that's interesting. I've never seen the TV pause like that. 
Hmm. That is quite interesting. That's Paul's little two sims kissing. Maybe that's some sort of sign. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, oh, we don't need to do that. Alright, let's have you two go watch some TV together. Are you are you not doing that? Okay, let's try this again. Okay, never mind. Apparently that's not that's not working, so we'll just have her come back over here and have a deep conversation with him. No, don't go to bed. Come on, man. Alright, there we go. He's getting... Oh, that's cool. They can just sit on the bed and talk. Chilo Panive Baima. Yeah, let's just have her sit down here next to him. <laughs> Talk to him for a little more. Oh, nice, she had a breakthrough. Nice, so that's the last breakthrough that she needs for her promotion. And uh, let's have her express admiration. So she's kind of getting up the courage to flirt with him a little bit, because that is what she really wanted to do. So first, we should have her ask him if he's single, just to make sure he's not seeing anyone, because she doesn't really want to mess with that. And of course he is. So let's compliment her his appearance. Starting out kind of subtle here. Tell him he looks very nice in those glasses. I do think glasses look really good on him. Definitely pulls that look off very well. And then let's have her flirt with him a little bit. And uh, she wants to come on his appearance again. And then maybe once we get... Uh, I don't know if I want to have her... No, stop trying to go to bed. I don't know if I want to have her... What are you doing? Come on. Um, I don't know if I want to have her confess her attraction to him just yet, or if I want to leave it as more of a... She just wanted to get a feel for it, and then, you know, once she... You know, if it, it seemed like he was into her, maybe she would ask him out on, to, out on a date later on. But, I mean, it's definitely obvious that he's into her, too. Ooh, we've got more romantic stuff here. Well, let's, let's have her tease him flirtatiously. Let's see how this goes. So definitely making it very obvious here. Um, I may not have her confess her attraction yet, but it's pretty obvious to her that he's into her as well, so we're gonna have her ask him out on a date in the next part. Ooh, she wants to compliment him. I don't know if that means compliment his appearance. Uh, what are you do- oh! Oh, she's getting that yogurt that she was eating before. Um, it is like 2 in the morning though, so I probably should have her head on home soon. Yeah, he's, uh, we're stopping this poor, poor Sim from wanting to, from going to bed, which he really wants to do, because he keeps trying. So I guess we'll have her compliment his appearance one last time, and then leave it at that. Uh, there we go, we took care of that. So yeah, it's, we've got something started between these two, so I'm gonna have her go say goodbye to him, go home, and then the next part, we'll have these two go on their first date. Now that she said goodbye to him, I'm going to go ahead and end this part. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and bye!